Dirt 4. So is it worth buying this game? Well, it's up to you, but uh, let me explain some of the key features. First of all, we have uh, my team, where you can uh, do your staff thing, hire staff, fire staff. We have branding and sponsors. So in the branding and sponsors, you can uh, change your team name, change the pattern of the car. As you can see, there's not many of them, it's just only a few options in here really, and I don't like any of them. It doesn't even have the classic rally stripes, so it's kind of bad. You can change the colors, obviously. All of the colors, four colors. Then you can change the driver details, numbers, the number is on the door, sometimes it's on the window, you can change the colors, la 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 la. You can change the sponsors, this depends um, how good contracts you can get, and that gives you more money after you know complete uh, complete the objective of the sponsor and that's it in here we have facilities you can just expand your you know stuff you get like experience and blah 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 you can buy a bigger garage uh, engineer positions uh, where's this garage expansion i've spent all the money at the moment but vehicle slots 120 why would they need 120? There are not even that many cars in the game. I think there are only 30 cars in the game. Why would they need 130? I mean 120, what the hell is that? Uh, anyway, let's move on. I think the most important is to show the vehicles. So let's go into the dealership. Uh, you also have the classifieds, which is the used cars. So, But uh, let's check these. These are all the cars there are actually, so not many of them. We only have one of these actually in here, and one of these. It shows two, but I don't know. Maybe you can unlock them at some point. I don't know why you can't right now see see the vehicles, but see also just one of them in here. One buggy, even though it shows three ones. No, it's just different colors. They're all the same. So we have um, a few of these cars. I'll just go through them quickly. That looks pretty cool actually. We have, uh, again, one. I don't know why I chose one. Never mind. I don't know if you can unlock more cars at a later point, but I think this is all it shows, so it's not many cars. Somewhere I looked up, and I think it said only about 30 cars, so I don't know. No, there's definitely something missing. Yeah, there's, there's uh, missing. The classic rally cars are missing and stuff, so yeah, you probably can unlock them. There's more in here, I think. See these ones, the crew B ones, they're missing. But you get the idea, these are the, you know, the main cars you see in here. I think it's about 30 or 50 max. I think there's more than that, but uh, anyway. Uh, these are my cars with my paint shop. In use, that means I'm in a championship, so that's why it says in use, I think. So let's move on to the events. We have career, competitive, multiplayer, la 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 la. Uh, I do like it that you have free play. You can just generate your own stages. And speaking of that, um, abandon. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even in the free play. You can choose between these. You only have four uh, categories: rally, cross, land, rush, and rally. Well, this is also rally. It's just uh, the historic cars like the Group B and stuff. And at event, we have uh, five countries, which again is a uh, poor choice I have to say Australia that's like Finland it's you know like uh, wide and straight roads Spain is asphalt tarmac whatever you like this is snow uh, Michigan USA that's also like kind of wide roads wide nice roads Wales well that's that's kind of like narrower dirt roads and stuff but let's go with this and the good thing about this is you can uh, generate the stage it's random stages so you choose the length, you choose the complexity, generate, and you can just keep pressing it and it generates different stages. You can reverse it, then you can change the time of day and you can change the weather. So for example, if you put length maximum, then you get a really long circuit, which is pretty cool. It's about 12 to uh, 14 kilometers, I think. That's what I've seen. Let's generate another one. See, that's... Uh, yeah, it, it changes a bit between like 12 to 14 kilometers so that's that's the normal range for it but the problem with this thing is that I'm uh, already noticing like similarities like the corners are repeating like I think uh, C2 of the um, 
hairpins on the right I can't really show you with the mouse okay I can't see these two I think these are actually the same things you have the same kind of you know textures everything is same so it doesn't actually randomly generate it just takes sections of the road that are pre-made and then puts those sections together sometimes it's like you're going across the um, very you know long circuit like this one and you notice uh, several places that actually repeat it's like oh I've been here and then then the corner goes the other way after that so it's like sections repeat so it's really poor to be honest it doesn't actually randomly generate so if you play this game for about 100 hours then you'll get used to it and you know exactly you know how it lines up that stuff I just thought it's um, worth mentioning and also the fog is really evil it's really really difficult to see in the fog and that's something I absolutely don't like because uh, the AI doesn't see the fog so if you have foggy stage then the AI almost always wins because it's almost impossible to drive in the fog so just just mentioning it it's really difficult to see you just can't see anything you can follow the notes but the notes are not always correct so very difficult very difficult I had one of the stages I had to uh, restart three times because I just uh, wanted to get used to the stage and that was the only way I was able to do that difficulty settings we can change the stuff in here uh, AI is very easy to be honest I'll set it on tough and see how tough they really are so let's do this so in the service area we can tune the vehicle uh, spare tires I'll have zero because that uh, means more weight if you add uh, you know the spare tires so but one thing I absolutely hate in here that all the cars act like a front wheel uh, drive cars I'm gonna try and put it as much uh, drift handling as possible which means I'll put this on the open then we have where's the center we're gonna put this it means 30% uh, uh, front wheel drive and 70% rear wheel and this would mean 70% to front and 30% to rear so I'm gonna do like this which means it's 30% front wheel drive which means it should you know drift more and the driving lock that's the differential we put it uh, like this so it should drift even more if you don't know what this means then well you have no common sense I mean sorry but you don't <laughs> it's it's just common sense how a vehicle handles like this at least it is to me but anyway all this should mean uh, center no we don't want this um, lock definitely not I'm gonna put this open and braking lock also how did i have it on 70 72 i can't even go up to 72 anymore that is weird right i don't want these things to make my car like handle like a front wheel drive but it will anyway so apply all tuning and let's go okay good luck out there the notes are good just listen to me we're gonna be fine yeah right whatever but yeah, compared to dirt rally, it's it's the handling is bad. But I'm gonna focus. Five, I'm gonna actually complete four, this. Four, three, two, one, go. Right four over crest. Dip. Keep middle over crest. Left six. Dip. Left four over crest. Dip. Left six. Keep middle over crest. One hundred. Right five. Don't cut. You see how easy Turn, it is left to... six, wow, don't what cut. The hell is that? <laughs> left six over crest. And right two over crest. Right five. Left six. Eighty. Eighty. Over it dip. just pulls out like a front wheel drive. Keep middle over jump. One hundred. Left six. Right four. Left three. Keep middle over crest. Right four over bumps. Don't cut. Into left two. Dip. I just can't, can't left like, three over crest. Car. It just doesn't drift at all. Into right three long crest. Left five. Left six over crest. And right two over crest. Don't cut. Right five. Left six. One hundred. Left drift. five. Like and left three drive. over crest. And right six over crest. Sixty. See how left easy six. It is to dip. Straight again. To finish. Get her to the control. Yeah, that's another thing. You have to actually drive in there, so... Right, I think I was driving terrible, but 
look at the time. Seven seconds. And this awesome is the result. tough AI. That was unbeatable. <laughs> this is absolutely terrible how bad AI is in this game. And then you're like, uh, you know, the co-driver is like, oh yeah, awesome job, awesome job. I mean, like seriously, that was so bad. I flipped my car and I was like all over the place. That's the first time I'm driving this car in this game, by the way. But yeah, talk about that. <laughs> see, see what I did. And they still want this. This is just terrible. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is that they handle like a front wheel drive car, regardless of the settings. See, as soon as I accelerate, it just pulls the front uh, out, out, outside of the corner, like you know, like it is with the front wheel drive. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but that's that's how it is. It just handles like a front wheel drive car, regardless of the setup. See, it just understeers. Terrible understeer. I tried to find you, but it doesn't really work. So let's do one uh, land rush and show you what this is all about. So again, I'm gonna do the tuning so it should handle like a real wheel drive car as much as possible, but I already know it doesn't, so anyway, let's go. It's gonna get loud. I'll be watching over the action. Have a good race. It's too easy, it's like made for a Try. Why is he shaking his head like that? Why is the mirror on again? Why, why did that mirror come on? Where's the heart? Get those game preferences. See, why is this on again? I turned that piece of crap off. Run. And how does hand hold the handbrake block the like the drive train and stuff? They're not even driving on full throttle. This is terrible. This is way too easy, guys. Motion. That's that's what I had in mind. Again, the front wheel drive bar. It doesn't drift at all. It just goes straight. It's like a front wheel drive bar. It's so terrible. I have to hold half acceleration, otherwise it just goes straight like like. If I hand brake like this and put it completely sideways, then it drifts a little bit. But it's so difficult to drift in this game, it just goes straight. I know I keep mentioning it, but it is terrible. And it's just so easy. I haven't even driven this track before. Last guy in there. Uh, whatever. 
But yeah, I think it's too easy guys. Way too easy. And here we have the third academy. You can have uh, lessons in here. You can obviously tune the vehicle. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to make it as real wheel um, drive as possible. So, uh, just let's put it loose. Um, uh, this is as much uh, to the real wheel as possible. Uh, we don't have a spare wheel in here because it's just, just a training. And free roam. Let's free roam. So you can just do this. So let's talk about the, you know, the general stuff here. Like graphics. I mean, you can see they're pretty good. My game actually runs fine in 4K. Let me check graphics, video mode. I have it almost maxed out. Okay, not really. I have the um, multi-sampling is down to CMAA. I can have it on the ultra maxed out, but at some uh, stages, some points, it just starts to um, go around like 40 or 50 frames per second. And personally, I don't like it. It's difficult to drive if it's unstable. And these are my settings in here. This advanced blending, that requires a lot of uh, GPU power. So, But most of it is on ultra, as you can see. And it runs fine. It runs around uh, 70 to 90 FPS. You can't see it on the video, but that's about uh, how much it is. So, But the problem still is that the cars just handle like a front-wheel drive. I did everything possible to make it as a uh, rear-wheel drive as possible. And check this out if I'm going in here. See, as soon as I accelerate, it starts turning outwards. It goes a little bit, but see, the wheels are completely turned out and it doesn't even drift. It goes a little bit. This car is a little bit better, but see? See? It just goes out. If I do that in a real life with a uh, four-wheel try, it will go sideways. It will go like this and it's gonna oversteer into the inside corner. If I have the same settings in like third rally, for example. So, I hope I explained it the best I can. But I hopefully understand it, but you can't drift with it, it's just like, if you go into a corner and apply acceleration, see, it should push the rear end out, but it just doesn't, it acts like a front wheel drive, it's terrible, it's very hard to drive it in here, and the AI is just way too simple, so, but let's check out the inside view, which is pretty cool, I think it's just made for keyboard moves, because I don't know how to apply a simulation and stuff. The effects are pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, so, what else we have? Damage. I will show you the damage. But first... Uh, I think yeah, that didn't do much. Uh, we have headlights, you can put them on and off. I'm gonna drive around a little bit and show you how dirty a vehicle can get. I think you're interested in that. So this is pretty much the maximum level of dirt you can get on the vehicle. And this mod, that comes from either grass, or like, you know, damp surfaces, or if you go through the water splash, then that's how you get this mod on it. It doesn't actually clean the vehicle if you go through the water splash, it actually makes the you know, surface a little bit muddy. It could be better, but I mean, it is pretty good, I have to say. I do like the first person, it's pretty good. You know? But I still absolutely hate the handling, see, it just doesn't drift at all, so it just goes straight right away. This is a mess, I can go straight away this way. It just doesn't drift, see, you see what I mean, it's just terrible. A car with this setup should drift a lot better than this one, so really baby handling I have to say. I'm gonna show on a fast corner. I have to turn around on the other side. That's the best corner I can demonstrate this this one here. I'm just come from the other side. That should be good enough. Okay there's some mod in the roof now. But if you go like high speed like this, brake and then turn and accelerate, it should, see, it doesn't drift at all. It should push the rear end out. I'm going to do the same thing in here with the handbrake this time and show you how it should handle. 
Unfortunately, it took go like this and like that, but you have to press the handbrake and that's stupid. You don't use a handbrake with this kind of setup, but well. Let's get to the damage then. See, so I just took it out of push and it did something. I'm not gonna try straight into a post, not yet at least. I'm gonna try to drift into a post, look at those posts in there. I'm gonna try to hit that post with my side. I think I have a flat. That's a pretty good hit. See, it does damage a little bit, you know, like in the place where you actually hit it. But I have a flat somewhere. I can hear it and feel it. But the damage is nothing incredible, so be ready to get this one. How can it be one of them? We have a few rings. Three wow. How do they get flat tires from those posts? That's just weird. And now it drifts like no tomorrow. Let's just try to get some more. What is this thing? It has blocked the French and it doesn't work in real life. Yeah, maybe it damaged it too much. Let's reset this and let's try to drive it down more. And show you how much damage this thing can take. You turn around nicely in here and full speed into the wall. But you will be disappointed so. That was, that was full speed into a post and look at that, it didn't even take any damage, you can still drive. See? That's, that's just very lame. Made for little kids. And it still drives, see? Didn't take any damage at all, so definitely bad damage system, I didn't like it at all. Let's see if I can flip this car somewhere. Probably can. It's difficult. Maybe on that thing. Oh yeah, that's actually a good place. Nope, I hate damage in this game, it's very bad. It's just, you know, little, little bit. Nothing big. What is that? Ah. Oh, there's something in here. Yeah, it doesn't really take any more damage than this. What was that then? Oh, apparently it broke the car too much. But yeah, as you can see, the damage is nothing special. It's quite bad, to be honest. And then we have a joyride. Let's do this. I can't even bother uh, tuning the vehicle because it's pretty much useless. Why do you have to hold hand brake? I don't get it. How does it cut off the stuff? That drifts properly. Never done this before, so. Hold 
like a challenge, not a joy ride. Oh shit, I didn't know where the road was going. Oh well, and in the career mode you also have the vehicle tuning, I mean vehicle upgrading, but you can't do it in the middle of the stages, you have to do it like, you know, uh, before that, but uh, it doesn't really change much to be honest, I mean you can upgrade your engine and brakes and stuff, but that's about it. So what do I think of Dirt 4, do I recommend it? Well it depends. If you're looking for action and just fun, then yeah, it's a good game, I mean graphics are good, it runs smooth, haven't crashed a single time, but if you're looking for a driving experience, as an experienced, uh, you know, racer, driver, then definitely not. The handling is very arcade, it's very arcade, the damage is really bad, you can crash your car easily like 10 times in a stage, like full speed, and you can still complete the stage, and even in the first place, like I demonstrated. So, uh, those are my thoughts, hope this uh, helps you decide if to get this game or not, and I will see ya next time.